And uh, today I would like to share a little bit about relationships, especially to myself. I see like <clears throat> my biggest strengths, gifts and talents that I saw through my life, something I've been really, really good at my whole life is playing music. I grew up in a musical family and I was giving everything very naturally. My father is a very good drummer and he was very happy to share that with me from a very early age. And uh, <clears throat> so I learned it very quickly and I was very, very good at it. But then simultaneous to that, every time I went up on stage, I freaked out completely and I felt so nervous. I felt nauseous. I couldn't really see what I was doing. Everything got really weird. And everyone around me told me that that is not something you should feel when you sit in front of people. Like, when you sit in front of people, you should have all these nice and yummy feelings and you should uh, provide a nice vibe and all of that. So I thought by me coming up here or here or anywhere else sitting and sharing these bad vibrations are uh, doing something bad to my audience. So directly I just ran away from that whole package and I did not play music for so many years. I maybe took my drum here and there and I played and some people were like, wow, you're really good at playing beats. You know? And I said, yeah, it's something I learned, but I don't like to live from it. You know, I don't like to do this with it, or I don't want to do this with it. But everything was just a complete avoidance because I thought that my paranoia was something wrong. You know? uh, when I met the Balanced Youth Training, I was still in the same kind of vibe with my music, and I couldn't, like, I didn't really use it at all. And uh, the last three years, I've been just demonstrating to myself that that paranoia and all of that is actually my golden treasure to provide benefit for everyone. Now I live from nothing else, I do nothing else. My whole life is just about music, it's all about being on stage, it's all about meeting people in that kind of context. And equally today as all my life, I am completely afraid of getting up on stage. Right now I don't like sitting here, I would never choose to go up and sit there and be like, oh look at all these people, it's so nice. <laughs> But it is nice. No, it's, it's, I was just going to say it's fucking amazing because uh, this is just far away from something I would ever ever have done with myself. Like everyone have always told me I'm so good at all these things, but all these things that I was good at normally fitted among so many people. <laughs> and for me it was just never worked like that. And I could see as by starting to look at myself through taking short moments, participating in trainings, like being in contact with my trainer and hanging out with the community. Like my group that I play with, we all balance view participants. So our whole uh, music vibe is not shared in any other context. It's all about the four mainsters and how we demonstrate that this works together. And uh, when I started to see this happening for myself, I also started to say, well, where can I not take this? Like if I have truly outshone the schizophrenia of being on stage and I can see that that is a beneficial potency. What else is, like, isn't it all the same? So I started to check in with my family and like started to open up all, like me and my mother, for example, I never used to speak with my mother. She used to be a person I ran away from as fast as she calls me, you know, or the, the turning off the phone and say, oh no, I don't have time, I don't have time. And equally there, because I, she used to walk all these feelings in me that I was told that for sure my mother was not going to awaken me. You know, the hatred and all these bizarre thoughts that I started to see. And equally there, I could take the support of the mainstays and I could truly flower with her and just sit and love her. You know? like I love my mother to an extent today that I could never ever imagine that I would. Because I have clarified all the bullshit that was going on for me through this amazing practice and through all these amazing people that show up here every day and demonstrate that it works, like with their families. So, so for me, it's just, yeah, it's a golden treasure to sit there together. And, uh, I just encourage everyone to just continue on and check out what's being offered here because it's an amazing thing. And it works directly. Like, like I come here every day and I might have many, many emotions of why I'm coming here and if I'm going to wake up at all or if somebody else can take my service position or Maybe they don't need me today, but after all that mumbo-jumbo, I end up here every day. <laughs> and it's amazing. Though, yeah.